Romans 10 and 9 says, And if thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe with your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. Romans 10 and 9. If you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, then receive him into your life today. He wants to redeem you from all sin, for we were all born from Adam. Adam is all of our father. I don't care what color you are, what race you are, how tall, how short, how fat, how skinny. Adam is our father. And when Adam sinned, it pulled the whole human race into sin. And we have got to get out this sin. Yes, Jesus, hallelujah, came. God sent his son, Jesus, to pull us out of what Adam had pulled us into. Won't you accept his redemption today? Just simply open your mouth and say, Jesus, come into my life and do something amazing with it. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe that God has raised him from the dead. And saints, brothers, sisters, watch. God will come into your life and he will do something amazing with it. Give your life to Christ today. The Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. You have just heard Psalms 2, I'm sorry, Proverbs 2, 6, and 7. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. That's a very strong statement. You are listening to Reaching the Masses Media Ministry Nightly Prayer. And I am your host, Evangelist Portia McIver. And as I said, you just heard Psalms 2, 6, and 7. God gives us wisdom. Hmm. Wisdom that we need to walk in this earth. You need only to ask. Now that particular Proverbs, Proverbs is called the Book of Wisdom. And I wanted to give you a bit of wisdom tonight. Wisdom is always good to have. But Anything that we need, God will give it to us. I mean, anything. And it's to those who walk up right before him. Not to anybody. It's only to those who walk up right before him. We can go to him and ask him for whatever we need. Because the scripture says, whatsoever you desire when you pray. Believe that you've received and you shall have. But now, let me go. And that's out of Mark, the 11th chapter. Let me go. The end of that says, and when standing, forgive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because see, when you don't forgive, you can ask until you're blue, green, and red in the face. And it doesn't do any good because your unforgiveness blocks your prayers your unforgiveness blocks you from the ears of God you can't stand in unforgiving toward his creation and then call yourself going to go before him asking for something so why are you asking forgive and then believe because whatever you need he will give to you um Tonight is Saturday night, and I hope you all join us on the prayer at 12 
tomorrow, 12 noon, tomorrow, not the prayer, I'm sorry, the um, Sunday services at 12 noon tomorrow. I look for you to be there, and I thank you if you come. Um, but if not, it'll be in the archives, and you'll be able to hear it. And I ask you if anything on there um, sounds good to you, then forward it to somebody else that needs the word. Amen? Like this particular proverb. I think all of us need their word. Everybody who is saved need to be encouraged. God will give you everything that you need, including wisdom. And we all need wisdom walking in this world today. Because stuff comes, I mean, in this world today, let me tell you, you'll see this. And then after you see that, you got to look at that. And then you look at Before you know it, you've got whiplash. This one did that. That one did that. That one's being arrested. That one's murdered somebody. So da 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 and da 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 and yada yada yada. I mean, the news will give you whiplash. I am really considering not even watching the news, you know. And actually, that's wisdom. But because... <laughs> I'm a little nosy. I told you all that before. And I want to know what's going on in the world. That's why I watch the news. But I'm seriously considering coming off of the news and just reading something like um, uh, the post that I put on Facebook or something like that. Because when I listen to the news during the day, yeah, it, it kind of vexes my spirit, some of the stuff that's going on, especially because you turn it on at 5 a.m. in the morning. After I wake up and I say, thank you, Lord, for another day, my next thing is the news because I've already listened to the Word before all of that. I've already listened to the Word of God. I keep that flowing during the night because it. when I wake up, I want the Word in my room, you know, and... I don't know, that's just me. I keep it flowing on my TV day and night. Well, no, let me change that. I keep it flowing during the night. It does not keep me from fearing or anything like that. It's just a comfort to my soul. So I have my TV on in my bedroom at night and I have it on a channel um, that quotes scriptures all night long. I like that. And when I get tired of, of course, I can change the channel or I can let it play until 5 a.m. and then change the channel. So I've got the word flowing all night long, y'all. And I do that because, see, I have a TV back there and um, it's only on at night. It's not on during the day because I'm not in my bedroom during the day. So I don't mind having it flowing because you list about four to five hours and um like i said i do that for the comfort the sheer comfort of it and that's a good way to learn the word too if you get those nights where you're thinking about things not worry you're not supposed to worry but where you're thinking about things and what you're going to do you know for the next lesson or you know you're thinking on the word of god or on the goodness of god then you can do that. Just put the scriptures on and let them run. It's very comforting. I hear it, Kenneth Copeland say, they put on, um, oh, what is his name? What is that man name that they like? Who's that? The preacher name that they like. He got a son. Hagen. Hagen Sr., not Hagen Jr. He um, keeps him on. Pastor Hagen, he keeps him on. He said from the time he goes to bed until the time he wakes up in the morning, they're listening to Pastor Hagen. And not Hagee, but Hagen, the senior Hagen. And um, I understand. It's something about the Word of God. And see, Pastor Hagen was all about the Word. And I'm not listening to a preacher, per se. I listen to the Word of God straight from the Bible. The verses have been, 
they pick a version, uh, pick scriptures, and they read them. And I hear them all night long. That's good. It puts a good feeling to your room, to your house. There is peace in your house because the word is playing. And I've gotten totally off the of subject having it. Anyway, I just tell you what I do at night. Not telling you to do it. Some people don't like that. Some people like quietness. But I'm one of those kind that I like the word playing. And I will either have it playing on my TV or I have an Alexa. And I will get that Bible and I will turn it on on my Audible and listen to the word of God. I just desire to just float in the word of God. Then when the next day come, see I have no problem handling the next day because my spirit has been fed. My spirit and soul has been fed the word. I've listened to it and it's like I wake up the next morning and I'm a giant killer y'all. Come my way if you want to. I will rebuke you and plead the blood in the name of Jesus. Amen. It keeps me strong in Jesus. That's why I tell you to read the word. Whether you read it or listen to it. Get it in your eyes. Get it in your ear. Because it strengthens your spiritual being. Your spiritual man. Remember, we are not flesh. We are spirit. And when you put the word in you like that, that's feeding your spirit like you feed your body. And I can guarantee you, whenever you do that, you wake up and you're like, okay, ready to thank you, Jesus, for another another day, ready to face the day. That's why I say I think I'm going to stop watching the news in the morning like that because one thing will pull you down. This one murdered that one, that one murdered that one, and it should not. But I don't like things like that. So I think I would just continue to walk in the Word longer, have it in my spirit and in my soul, in my ears and in my eyes, and just walk in that and let the news alone. I can get the weather on my Alexa without the news. Amen. Unless there is something that's really wrong and I have my Alexa set, and then my daughter, she has her phone set. And if it's an emergency, you know Trump got your number, and he is going to put a beep, 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 beep on your phone if there's an emergency. So that's good for me. Thank you, Lord. I think he just solved my problem for the news, y'all. But um, for tonight, we're coming to you with the nightly prayer going before the throne of grace, hallelujah, and asking God to continue to bless us and to make us stronger and stronger and stronger in Him. Hallelujah. And as usual, each night I say, if you don't know the Lord for the pardoning of your sins, then by all means repeat after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to know you. I want to have a closer walk with you. I want you to dwell in, around, hallelujah, and on me, leading me and guiding me through this earth, from earth to heaven, hallelujah. Lord, I don't want my soul to be lost. Save me, Jesus, hallelujah, and do something amazing with my life. Now, if you have prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, then welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the ecclesia, the church, the gathered one. Hallelujah. I was listening to a man today about the rapture. And my God, that's going to be a time like we have never seen before. Because when we leave here, when the church leaves here, the ecclesia, when we leave here, we who belong to God. We who are sealed until the day of redemption. How do you get sealed? By giving your life to the Lord. And when you have that seal on you, when he comes in mid alka he doesn't come to the earth during that time. This is not the second coming. The second coming, he's coming on a white horse with a sword. But this is him coming in mid air. And Gabriel, the angel, is going to blow a trump which actually is a shofar. And when he blows it, only those that belong to Christ will hear it. 
And he said, The dead in Christ will rise first. Then we which are alive and remain will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Now let me tell you what's going to happen. The world, if you're not his, will not hear that. It's for us, we who belong to him. They're just going to look around and millions and millions and millions and trillions of people are missing. Those who belong to Christ, those who have given their life to Christ, those who have been redeemed, amen, those who have repeated that same prayer, I just repeated, hallelujah. They're going to look around and we're going to be gone. All the babies are going to be gone. All the children are going to be gone. If you're pregnant, that baby is coming up out of you. It's going to disappear. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he is not going to leave that baby on this earth to face the wrath to come. But if you deny God now, then guess what? You got to go through all that wrath. And believe me, you don't want to do it because that's when, as my mom used to say, all hell is going to break loose. The only thing that's holding all the evilness back is the Holy Ghost. He is the keeper. He is the comforter. He is the one that's holding all that stuff back. While he is here living in us, while the church is here praying, all that stuff can't come through. But guess what? Look at the world now. Do you really want to live in it when it gets even worse than this? And you can't even imagine with your heart or your mind how bad it's going to be. But this is nightly prayer. I don't want to scare nobody. So don't fear. Because if you belong to God, then guess what? You won't, you, <laughs> you need to rejoice in this. Because you know, hallelujah, you need to lift your hand right now and say, Thank you, God, I won't be here. But I belong to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But let us go before the throne of grace. But wait a minute. Before we do, um, my niece, Tati, I want to remind you about her. Um, she's in stage four cancer. And um, is it stage four? Oh, no, no, no. She's what is it? Chemo. I'm sorry. Not stage four. She's doing her fourth chemo. Um, I got an email from her today, and she's doing her fourth chemo. So y'all pray for her. Chemo is hard. Y'all, I, I don't know how many of you have had it, but chemo is hard. So please support her on GoFundMe. You will find that in the description box. Also, you will find the scripture that we use tonight. Go and read the Book of Wisdom, Proverbs. That was the second chance, the chapter so go and read that and get the understanding of that. There is something that talks about a buckler. We're even going to put that definition in the description box. Because I had to ask my daughter to look it up and see what it was. And um, she told me what it was. But I want you to learn for yourself. Because when I tell you, when I can, it's like a shield that goes around your arm. But I want you to go and do some studying yourself. And by all means, vet me. Hallelujah. And see if what I'm saying is true. But go and check it out for yourself. Learn for yourself. Amen. My friend John on TV he says, get up off your rear end and do something for yourself. I can tell you from now until the rapture occurs. But if you don't have the word in you, see, the word builds faith in your heart. There's a scripture that says, when I come, will I find faith? That's one of the things that the word does do. It builds faith. Jesus said, when I come, will I find faith? Amen. I'm asking you that when he comes, will he find faith in your heart, faith in him, faith to believe in his word, faith to know that he is who he says he is, and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Think about that particular word, diligently, ongoing, seeking, yes, looking, searching, diligently. How do you do it? Open up the Bible. Learn about him. Listen to a scripture. Listen to scriptures during the day, at night. Get you some um, CDs for your car or 
I don't even, Blu-rays or whatever, whatever your car has, you know. Or if you have an Alexa in your car, get an Audible. Subscribe to Audible. Audible has a free Bible that you can get and you can play it in your car while you're driving home and from work. Get the word in your heart. Hide it in your heart so that you won't sin against him. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, um, this show is also sponsored by Webs by Steph. And you can reach her at Reaching the Masses Media Ministry at gmail.com. Just put attention Webs by Steph. If you need a WordPress website for your ministry or for your personal use, or if you are a blogger, you can have one that's paid and there's one that's non paid. So, whatever you need, just get in touch with her and she'll get right back in touch with you so that you can do what you need to do. Also, sneakers for soldiers. Go talk to Miss Deborah. She's on Facebook, Sneakers for Soldiers. And please donate to that cause. And I think that is all. Is that all? Yes, that is all. As they come, then I will announce them. And I'm doing all of these. Now, Toddy will be ongoing Sneakers for Soldier. This will be my last month announcing that. Because um, now all of you should have that address. She's on Facebook. Go to Sneakers for Soldiers. And you can find Miss Deborah. Okay, let us go before the throne of grace. I hope everyone out there is doing well. I hope your day has been wonderful. Uh, like I said, tomorrow is Sunday. We will be on at 12 noon for Sunday services here on... Um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, what is the other one? Periscope. Periscope, yes. And where else? That's this. And Blog Talk Radio. Uh, I love Periscope. Good Lord. I got so many hearts last week, and I thank everyone on Periscope for those hearts. Hallelujah. That meant they liked this program, y'all. But that... I give all glory to God because he's the one that gives me the words. Hallelujah. And the glory goes to God. It's not me. It's my God. Hallelujah. It's the Jesus in me, y'all. That's all. So let us go before the throne of grace. I don't know why I'm thinking. I'm forgetting something. Um, no, I, I can't remember. Oh, well, pray for my grandson. He's fine now. Poor baby, he's allergic to fruit. And, oh boy. You know, sometimes we have things and we don't realize that they're passed down to our children. My mother was allergic to certain fruits. I never saw her eat a fresh fruit. I saw her eat fruit cocktail from a can, but never fresh fruit. And I know she was highly allergic to bananas. And I used to look at her like, bananas? Yeah, they would, she'd have to go to the hospital. And I'm allergic to strawberries and peach fuzz. I know that much. But I had no idea that now my daughter and my grandchildren, my oldest grandchild and my daughter and her daughter, and uh, not her daughter, but all three of my grandchildren, four of my grandchildren thus far, are allergic to fruit. And my grandson, poor Brandon, he can't eat any kind of fruit. I'm saying, good Lord. Anyway, um, I told him to go to an allergist. Y'all pray for him, because hives are no joke, man. The doctor told me when I broke out in hives from eating strawberry, if I put my hand on the strawberry and touch my skin, I'm going to break out. And that's just how highly allergic to them I am. And if I happen by mistake to get one in my mouth, yeah, I got to go to an emergency room. Don't know why my body is like that, but, you know, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because God can heal allergies. If he can heal a blind man, and if he can make a demonic man be free from demons, then he can heal allergies. Amen. All right. 
Let us go before the throne of grace tonight, but remember to pray for my grandchildren, my whole family, because I'm sure praying for you. I don't know your name, but I always say, Lord, bless everyone who's listening to this video. Bless them and their families. Amen. So please pray for my family also. And if you like this particular um, program, the Reaching the Masses Ministry, Reaching the Masses Media Ministry, then by all means, put a like down, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell, or like people say, smash that bell, so that you will know when I come on. We have a nightly prayer we have uh, Wednesday night high noon prayer at 12 noon, and on Sundays we're on at 12 noon. We're going to do some more things, but I want to get all of these straight first and have them going good, then I'll add on as need be. Hallelujah. When I do, you'll get a email or you'll do a video and say, here we grow again, and I will let you know exactly what we're getting ready to do. But for right now, I thank you for listening tonight. And in the archives, I thank you so much. Please hit that thumbs up or smash that bell to hear more. Amen. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this night. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, Father. Hallelujah, because you are worthy to be praised. Lord, we thank you for keeping us. We thank you for loving us. Hallelujah. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Father. Hallelujah. So that we may have a chance at eternal life. So that our souls will not be lost. Lord, we thank you because you are our Father, King of kings and Lord of lords. And you, when the time come, are going to meet us in midair. Hallelujah. And the trump is going to sound and all of us, the dead and the alive, are going to be caught up in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. Lord, we thank you and we glorify your name for that because you're our Father and you will protect us. Lord, God is bad now, but people haven't seen bad until the Holy Ghost and the church leaves out of this world. And I, for one, don't want to be here then. Hallelujah. Can't speak for other people, but I, for one, don't want to be here then. I want to be over in heaven with my Father. Hallelujah. And with my Jesus. Finally meeting your face to face. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask you to bless every ear. Everyone who's listening tonight and everyone who will listen to this prayer on into the future, I ask you to bless their household, Lord. Bless their finances. Hallelujah. Bless their marriages. Bring their children home. Their wayward children, bring them home. Lord, the children that are there and are not saved, Lord, speak to their hearts so that they may be saved. So that mom and daddy won't leave and leave them behind. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask you to save, 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 save anyone who listens to this and they haven't given their lives to you, Lord, and allow it to get into their heart and mind, into their heart and mind, and let it play over and over again until they repeat the sinner's prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for every soul that's going to be saved from each one of these videos. Because I claim each one is going, somebody's going to hear and somebody's going to get saved. Hallelujah. Lord, let them know that they need to find the church and let churches be preaching let the church that you send them to be preaching the true word of God because there are a lot of churches out here Lord and all of them not preaching the word of God and I realize that but Lord I ask you to take when you take control hallelujah when they ask you in and receive you into their life Lord lead them and guide them you said you would do it you would lead them and guide them to all truth hallelujah lead them and guide them to the right pastor the right church Lord and give them a hunger and a thirst for your word Lord so that they may know who you are so that they may walk like you walked hallelujah in the name of Jesus Lord Bless each and every one, hallelujah, that hears this particular recording 
on this July the 27th, 2019. Lord, we ask you to bless our president. Lord, bless the whole government. They all need it. They need much prayer, Lord. They need Jesus, like the sister said. They need a little more Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, well, Lord, you know, a lot of them need a lot of Jesus. But hallelujah, they need a little more Jesus. Lord, lead them and guide them into all truth. Let them lead this country the way you want it led. Hallelujah. Not the way that they want to. Lord, stop the bickering and the strife and the anger and the jealousy in the government. They are our head. They're supposed to be an example, Lord. You can stop it, Lord. Hallelujah. Just touch their hearts. All of those. That say they are your and touch their hearts, Lord, so that they can stand up and say, I am truly part of God. I am truly part of the ecclesia, part of the remnant in the world today. Hallelujah. Let them stand up and be counted, Lord. Let them be different from all the rest, Lord. And those rest there, as I call them, Lord, let them get to know you. Hallelujah. We want a holy government, Lord. Hallelujah. We don't want something up there that's trying to destroy the country. Lord, we ask you to bless each and every one, male and female, so that they will know you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, I ask you to bless my household and to keep it safe, Father. Don't know what happened out there last night, Lord, with the fire engines and the ambulance, but whoever it was, Lord, I pray that they are okay. Hallelujah, Lord, I ask you to bless my sister-in-law, Lord, and comfort her, Lord. She lost her husband, hallelujah. And Lord, I ask you to comfort her. She just got married, Lord, and he's gone already. Lord, nobody expected that, but that shows me. You said to be ye also ready, for we know not the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. And people take that as the rapture. Yes, you will come back in the rapture, but we have a life. And we don't know when you're going to say, okay, time is up. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I ask you that we all be ready when you come. Hallelujah. Let us be the five wise version, not the five foolish version. Let us keep our, or our lamps full and our wicks trimmed. Hallelujah. And not have to run and try to borrow or say, hold on, wait a minute. I'm coming up because, Lord, by that time the door was shut. And the righteous will be gone and they will be left behind. And Lord, you know me. I am determined not to be left behind. Hallelujah. There's a determination in my heart that I'm going to spend eternity with my Jesus, with my God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to encamp your angels around every ear that's listening today, tomorrow, and forever. As long as this video is up here on YouTube, encamp your angels around them, Lord, and keep them safe. Because you said that you gave your angels charge over us to bear us up in their hands so he won't even dash our foot against the stone. So every ear that hears this, Lord, I ask you to bless them. Keep them safe. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray tonight. Amen and amen. Saints, God loves you. So do I. My question, as usual, is think about it and ask somebody else the same question. If you were to die today, where would you spend eternity? Amen. Love you all. Good night.